David Attenborough coming at you from the Dick Sporting Goods on Powers Boulevard. We're gonna see if she can do this. Good job. <laughs> Good morning, my beautiful internet friends. Welcome back to a video that I am feeling a lot of feelings to be filming. I'm gonna go take a hike with my husband today in the beautiful Colorado sun. A little sunshine here is feeling decent and I've been walking consistently for a couple days without any kind of additional mobility aid and I thought, you know what, today's Sunday, it's beautiful outside, let's give this a shot. If you know anything about my story, if you've been following it for a while, you'll know that this is a goal for me. Um, I'll probably just get a few steps a day and if I get that far then that's amazing. But first I have to find my hiking boots that I have not used since 2016, I think. To be totally honest with you, I don't even completely remember what they look like. <laughs> Those are definitely Brian's. Oh, we have our winners. I think we're ready guys. So back in the days when my ankle was semi-functional, Brian and I used to take our beautiful puppy dogs hiking pretty much every weekend. I really miss it. And one of the reasons that I did everything that I've done this past year is to get back to a point where we can actually do that. And we're not taking the, the girls today, even though they would very much like to come just because I don't think we can deal with dogs and uh, trying to manage my leg for the first time on a hike. Maybe soon, girls. Maybe soon. Oh, thank you for all that noise in my video. <laughs> I just realized I have a very specific problem I did not think about when it comes to hiking. So, you're supposed to change out your socks as your leg changes volume throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Poor puppies really want to come. And uh, to do that, I have to, with the pants I'm currently wearing, kind of take my pants off so I can access my leg to make that happen. And it's too cold mm -hmm. to wear shorts. So I'm hoping I'm guessing right on the number of socks I need because otherwise I'm kind of screwed. It's an interesting problem to have and to figure out a solution to. Not a good start. I dropped my phone in the water. So Brian is one being the video day, but I promise he's right here. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Pretty hot. Yeah. <sighs> good start. <laughs> so I didn't exactly predict all the uh, snow and ice that would be on the trail, but uh, I'm sure this will be fine. This is a good idea still, right? Well guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> Uh, I did make it. I don't want to brag or anything, but uh... That's the car! <laughs> That's our final destination. I mean, the car's over there, and I made it right here, so uh... It was a workout. I'm uh, proud of myself. <laughs> this whole video can't be... I walked 30 feet from my car, hooray. <laughs> After one harrowing journey, we have made it safely back. <sighs> cool, 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 cool. Made it to location number two. Give us another shot. What do you think the odds of us successfully hiking this time are? Good. Good. I picked better locations. <laughs> I picked better. <laughs> ah! I picked better. <laughs> okay, so location number two is actually a trail I used to walk uh, every morning with the dogs when we lived in apartments not far from here. It's flat, there's less ice. Let's give it a shot. I like the up close and personal. It's a great look for me. Don't fall. Look at this ice! Oh, that's cheating. Yay!
so much better at YouTube than I am. <laughs> nope. Never. I literally can't run. I literally can't run away. Watch out, don't slip. Oh my god, this is an ambush. <laughs> Then I'm missing a leg. <laughs> hey, if you're uh, if you're watching this right now, there's a certain someone behind the camera who needs some encouragement. The people love him. So if you love Brian, just comment more Brian down below to get him on camera a little bit more, would you? Oh, it was ice. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I do feel like walking on ice is a much better test of my capabilities than boring dry concrete. Yes, I'm sure it's safe. This was totally planned. What the heck? I'd say we made it a quarter mile? I'd say more than a third. Either way, those are some serious steps in the right direction. Puns for days. It's really cool to be able to say that. It wasn't a super long hike or a challenging one, but I mean, it actually was challenging for me. Being outside and being around nature and being able to move are such large parts of who I am that when I'm not able to do them for years on end, it's hard, right? And I'm getting to the place where I'm starting to be able to do those things and it's, ah! <sighs> I feel like saying so cool is a little bit overused, especially by me, but it's so cool. I'm so grateful for it. However, I will say I did hyper extend my knee twice today, once when I was cleaning the house, then the second time was when I was walking in the snow. There's, you know, a lack of stability when you're walking on snow, you don't know what's underneath. And um, I stepped and it, it made my knee, like my leg go straight and then my prosthetic kind of made my knee go backwards like into itself. I've had issues with my knee anyways, you guys know that, and they've been getting better, but that is like the one thing that really makes it hurt quite a bit. And that happened twice today, and so it's really aggravated. I'm looking forward to getting home and getting my little leg off so that I can um, get some ice on it. I may have to take a day or two off of my prosthesis. Something that's kind of hard for me to learn, but I think also a really positive thing. I've mentioned this before, but is the idea of, of pushing myself and not doing that. In a previous life, I was someone who would kind of push through anything. Um, I'm a very athletic person. I love doing challenging things with my body, and I have no problem pushing, right? But this is a situation in which you really shouldn't do that. Generally speaking, you shouldn't do that. Like, if there's pain, it needs to be paid attention to. You know, take breaks from things. Um, discomfort is okay, but pain is not. It's been an interesting practice for me to really pay attention to that, stop when I need to stop. And I know that my body is telling me I need to stop right now. So instead of keeping my leg on for the rest of the day and pushing through it, I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna ice the hell out of my knee. Part of me feels like a wimp, like, you know, you should just push through anything, right? But that's, that's old thinking. And I'm glad that I'm growing beyond that because it's not healthy to push ourselves through literally everything. This was so cool to be able to do today. I'm so glad for it, even if it was just a little bit. And even if we didn't get to go hiking the place we attempted to, that was a good A for effort. Maybe next weekend uh, we'll try again when there's less ice and less snow and maybe go half a mile instead of a third of a mile and keep working up from there. I feel like eventually it's gonna hit. I'm obviously like really happy and excited about this, but I feel like one day I'm just gonna be like sobbing with gratitude and happiness and relief. We're not to the sobbing part yet, but I am pretty damn excited. So thanks for listening guys. Thanks for coming for my first hike with me. So awesome. A huge thank you to my patrons who make these videos possible. You guys support me in more ways than one and I am so thankful for you. Thank you. If you're interested in joining Patreon or learning what that's about and why why you would do that, what you might get for it, check the link down below or on the screen. I'd love to see you over there. And thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch this video here with me today. You could be anywhere in the world doing anything and you chose to spend it with me and that means so much to me. Thanks guys. I love you. I'm thinking of you and I will see you in the so next video. Bye guys. And you dream about this very night.